Howdy folks, my name is Darren from RC Scale Models and today we're going to be building this Ravel's 124 Deutz D30 tractor. Let's do this.
Okay folks, I've gone ahead a little bit. I had to do this off camera because I couldn't do it because the camera was in the way. Getting these fenders on requires you to pretty much use all your, all your hands, or both hands. And uh, you need to push the uh, axle in and the fenders and to push the whole tire tractor down. And then in between here and here, you need to, to clip it in. And it also needs to clip in the bottom here. And doing all all parts trying to get it to clip into place can be really tricky so I'll quickly put this done this off camera but this is the basic part of the tractor now we're getting close to uh, getting ready for paint pretty soon um, we'll probably stick the front axle one and then we're getting to paint okay folks the uh, wooden plank that goes over the uh, fender is all nice and dry we've done a deck tan color to get the uh, wood grain and wood color we're going to use Tamiya panel line dark brown it's a case of just simply slapping it all over. We can put it on the bottom, which you're not going to see an awful lot on the bottom, but. As for so that's it, pretty much. Once this is dry, if we're not happy with the uh, tone, we can always go over it again, or we could always use the pier to, to me a panel line brown, which is the lighter version. But that's pretty much how I'm going to do the, do, do the wooden planks. <laughs> Okay folks, we've gone ahead and attached all the uh, chrome segments like um, goldy chrome colour. They're all being attached. The number plate's ready for the uh, number plate to go on. All the uh, engine detail has been put on. We have got to weather the pipes up a little bit to make them a little bit rusty for like burnt uh, heat stains and stuff. The uh, chrome is on the uh, cap. The uh, fuel cap is on, the uh, speedometer is on, we've done all the uh, wooden parts, we've attached the wheels, it's nice and clean at the moment, I am going to do it a restored version but working tractor, so it's going to be a little bit chipped up a little bit in certain places like the the, uh, the, uh, football, uh, the uh, where you put your feet, the footboards or um, whatever, the steps, a little bit of oil around the engine, so I don't want it completely restored and clean like this I want it a working restored tractor um, we have got to put a couple of decals on some of the headlights and stuff uh, so we still have our functional seat 
the steering works a little bit we do have a little bit of a steering but I don't want to bend it too much because it can end up breaking but it's come out nicely um, our next step is to do some washes and stuff for the front grill we're going to use some Tamiya panel line it's just basically black and you just get some of your black as normal Tamiya panel line get some of, the, some of this access off and in this case you're just dabbing it in the middle Um, let the compatibility action flow into it and that's just going to be how it is for the, for the grill as for the engine okay as for the uh, engine stains and stuff I'm going to use this one from Ming which is fresh engine oil and this one from Ming is en engine grease so we're going to put a little bit of this around the engine so it's a little bit oily We turn the light on so we can see. So first one would be some engine oil, which is like a grey colour. And I'm just going to brush it all over the engine I can take some of the excess off with, with a cotton swab so I'm going to go ahead and do this now and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done ok folks We've gone ahead and done some of the uh, oil stains have all done now. We're going to rust up the uh, pipes around here a little bit because they're going to be uh, but it's all going to be burnt off because of the heat. As for the rust, we're going to use oxidized rust from the Vallejo. Uh, rust, old rust, and new rust. We're going to combine these in certain areas to make the rust pipes. As for the uh, dirt. We're just going to use basic European earth to make dust, particles and dirt. So, Okay, we're going to start with the older rust first. Um, I don't know which order you probably want to do it in, but I always like to uh, work with older rust. So we get some fixing agent. Make up like a wash and just go all over the pipes. I might need a uh, more thinner brush for this. So I can get in closer. Um, if the pig, if it's too watery, you can always add more pigment to make it thicker. It starts off quite he uh, heavy and thick and brown. But once you've had different tones and stuff, it all lightens up. Um, so why that's wet, 
you can go and add a new rust on top of it which is much lighter might not want as much as this because it's going to be quite strong Um, red oxidized rust, very small amount because it's quite strong. This one, And as for blending it in nicely, uh, you can also add the same rust on. The lower section of the, of the vehicle because it's going to take, have to take a beat in i'm going to put some of the rust inside the uh foot wells because that's where your feet are going to be rubbing and the pedals are probably going to take a beat in because they're constantly on the move um i think that's going to do it for the rust as for the dirt pigments and we're going to use the european earth it's the same principle And I'm just going to pretty much slap, slap this all over the, the lower section of the vehicle. All up here, all over the linkages because it's where it's going to be uh, worn. Um, might use the thicker brush for this one. Don't like using pigments too much because it can be really, really messy. And you, it just goes everywhere. So like that, going around the wheels, just stipple it on. We can put this all up here. I'm going to put it all on the bottom. So that's the basics of the dirt so i'm gonna go around and finish this and i'll show you what that looks like there you go my friends my tractor's all finished it's the uh Deutz d30 i've done it in a uh, semi-restored version but still working tractor so it's going to be grimy and dirty and dusty it's not a complete showroom piece it's a uh, restored working tractor on the farm um a little bit of a story Old farmer finds his old tractor that his grandfather had he found it in his shed so he decided to restore it and then get it into working order and this is what I come up with. It goes with my uh, Massey which I have 
with it to go with it now. So there you are folks, the uh, tractor in the grey is the Massey that I built first time. I built it as a restore tractor, nice and clean. I didn't want to weather that one up, but I can go back and do it if I wish to. So now I have two tractors on my farm, pretty cool. Um, I do have another tractor to build. Um, I can't find the kit, what I've done with it at the moment it is a red tractor. Um, I can't remember who that's made by. Um, but I will be doing that one at another later date. But I do like my old vintage tractors like these styles. I think they're pretty cool. Um, the Grey Massey was an interesting build as well. But this red one, the uh, Deutz, as I say, is a good tractor. It goes together nicely. Um, there isn't really much issue with it. Um, I did paint it. You can not paint it, but I've gone for the painted option. I did paint it. I use a gloss red. And a uh, gloss bright green. It's a bit more John Deere green. Um, I can understand why Massey, not sorry, not Massey, uh, Deutz, they changed their colours because they um, look like the fent too much. But yeah, it is a pretty cool kit. Um, the, uh, I am trying to find more 124 scale tractors, but there isn't much out there. Um, so if anyone knows, where I can get some more tractors from because these are quite good kits to build they are, they're good fun um, on the Massey I did do wiring but on the Deutz I didn't do the wiring because I've got no diagrams for where the wires go so I haven't done it until I can find a diagram and then I can wire it up but till then I don't know where the wires go uh, but yeah like comment subscribe and I'll catch you later